Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I am going to share with you the foods that I always have in the house when I am cutting or trying to lose weight. I am currently cutting, which means I am trying to lose weight, so I am eating in a caloric deficit. Uh, by doing that, I am counting macros. So all of the items that you're going to see are foods that I try to always have in the house, to always have ready and available, just to make it easier for me. Um, I normally go to the grocery store every Sunday and just go and stock up on things. So I am going to show you the items that I bought this week, then also the items that I've had, so that way you can see overall the items that I try to always have in the house. Now there are some things that change, of course, every week, depending on what I'm doing or what I'm cooking, uh, and also what's in season but pretty much this is what I try to always have available and in the house. So for example, chicken is one of the proteins that I eat the most. So the chicken, we go and we buy it at Costco because it's bigger and it's more cost effective to buy it that way. So we go up to Costco probably about once a month and we get a lot of chicken and then we put it in the freezer and every week I cook it in different ways. And then for a second protein, we always have two different proteins a week. For the second one, we will buy something either at HEB or at Trader Joe's because every other week besides going to HEB, I also go to Trader Joe's and buy some other items, which I'll share with you in another video. What are my staple items that I always get at Trader Joe's? So these in general are the items that I always, always, always try to have in the house except for this one and i will explain a little bit more in a minute okay so let's get started and let me show you all the items that i got so this week for example the second protein that we got was tilapia so i'm sorry i already opened the pack but i just got some frozen tilapia this is just a two pound bag um, same thing, we'll keep it in the freezer. I'll only cook what we need for this week and then that way we'll have some frozen uh, tilapia in the fridge or in the freezer for another time. This is a really lean, lean protein. For example, approximately four ounces have two grams of fat, but 23 grams of protein and zero carbs. So fish is a great, great um, source of protein and it has good healthy fats. Now. Another item that I get, I love, I have a really big sweet tooth, so I get these um, banana slices covered with dark chocolate. They come in little packages like this. Something that was really important for me and that helped me a lot throughout my weight loss journey and trying to lose weight is having things that are already portioned because I, if you give me a bag of chips, I cannot just have five chips, I will eat the entire bag. So having these things that are already pre-portioned have really helped me, so I always get these. Um, I also got some frozen onions. So these are pre-chopped, ready to go frozen onions. They're great for cooking. This has been probably one of the best things that i found has been frozen onions. I also always have some sort of frozen veggies that are easy to make. I, like I mentioned before, I have a full-time job. So it's, for me, whatever is quickest and easiest to prepare is best. So I got some peas and carrots, some frozen peas and carrots, and then some frozen veggie spirals. These are great because you actually put them in the microwave and they're done in like three minutes. And then you can just add something else to season them. I'll sometimes add a marinara sauce or a vegan pesto that I love from Trader Joe's, or sometimes just with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, um, garlic powder. So anywhere you want to cook them, having frozen veggies are amazing for me. I also get um, Greek yogurt. I get a zero milk fat yogurt. I get these individually, just like this. But then I also have the full big one. So the reason why I get them um, like this is because this one helps me just to have it in the house uh, for cooking. That's a great substitution. Instead of using sour cream, using this, and then also sometimes for breakfast or um, if I just need a quick snack with a lot of protein, this is great. This has a lot of protein, zero fat, uh, five carbs, and 18 grams of protein in a cup. Mm -hmm. And then these, I love these because I can take them to work. So this is a great snack to have at work. I keep one in the fridge. If I'm ever really hungry, need some protein, this is a great one to have there. Um, so this is why I always get some individual ones. Eggs, of course, always have eggs in the house. For breakfast, I usually have one full egg, 
one egg white, one turkey sausage, and then some hash browns, and then I just mix them all together, and that's what I normally have for breakfast, so I always have eggs, and then my boyfriend, usually on the weekends, I also make eggs for breakfast for him, so we have eggs. I also love berries, I always have berries. I normally eat berries as a snack as well, and then sometimes for breakfast also, so I always have strawberries always i always have strawberries in the house but then i always mix it between blueberries or blackberries this week i got blueberries next we have spinach i always also have spinach and romaine lettuce which i have right here some romaine hearts with dinner every single day i always have a salad on the side so i'll have my regular dinner and then whatever I cooked, and then I also always prepare a salad. My salad normally have a mix of romaine hearts, spinach, and I also add some grape tomatoes. So grape tomatoes are amazing because I don't have to chop them. I just get maybe four or five of these, throw them in the salad, and then just have them like that. Once again, I'm all about convenience and doing things quick and easy and healthy. So having these ready are amazing. As I mentioned before, I am a very sweet person. I love eating sweets. So I found these amazing Rice Krispie treats that come in like a mini, mini packet like this. So they're so cute. So I always have this here and I always take one of these to work because I like to have something sweet after I eat. So these take care of that. And one of these has one gram of fat, eight grams of carbs, and a little bit of less than one gram of protein. So Granted, not maybe the best option, but hey, it works for me and they're so good. And these are, these are one of the foods that I am able to keep eating, although even when I'm cutting, and once again, portion control. It's just one little square and that's it. I take just one, I have one, I have something that I love and it's not gonna ruin anything because it fits within my macros. Now, remember when I said that at breakfast, I also have a turkey sausage so this is what i use is jimmy dean's fully cooked turkey sausage so i just take one of these chop it in little pieces and then just put it in with my eggs and my hash brown mix it all together and then that's it so always have these another one of my snacks are string cheese i like these weight watcher uh, string cheese they come of course in little individual uh, packages but then also these are, this is the brand that i found that has the least fat out of all the other ones that i um, at least that i checked at heb these ones one piece has 2.5 grams of fat one carb and then six grams of protein each so every single day between breakfast and lunch i have two of these now these things I just discovered not too long ago and I always have two in the house because these are lifesavers whenever I don't have time to cook my breakfast for the next day. Um, these are great to just have on your pantry ready so if you have one of those days when you don't have time to prepare your breakfast you can just have one of these. You add a little bit of water and then you put it in the microwave for a minute and it's a pancake in a cup and then just add a little bit of berries so then I'll just eat that real quick and ready breakfast is done so it does have about 35 grams of carbs which is not a lot but I mean still it has 7 grams of fat but 10 grams of protein so it's great for breakfast now this chili garlic sauce I use just to season things I eat a lot of uh, white rice so I love adding just a little bit of this to the white rice and mixing it up it gives it a lot of flavor it's amazing and it has like zero macros so great flavor zero calories for tortillas i buy these uh, low carb whole wheat tortillas um, they're pretty awesome they're really good i normally have these uh, when i don't have time to cook either for lunch or dinner that i just want to get something quick these are great to just have it like a quick wrap or something easy so and they also have a really long shelf life so these have three grams of fat 19 grams of carbs and eight grams of protein each so it's about about one slice of bread normally. So this one's always have in the fridge. Also, I always have lime. So always have lime. You've heard it on my previous videos. I love adding lime to everything. So always have lime. And then I also always have watermelon. I'm panicking right now because we're starting to get to the season where there isn't a lot of watermelon available. 
but I've still been able to find these tiny watermelons at HEB, so I'm still happy. Um, these are amazing because they're seedless watermelon, so I love that. And something that I love about watermelon is that it barely has any calories. I love watermelon. It keeps me full for really, really long, and it's pretty much just water. So this is something that I always have available as well. I'll get it, I'll chop it up, and I'll have it in the fridge already chopped up, so then I can just put it in the Tupperware and take it to work. And that's also another one of the snacks that I normally take to work. Another sweet treat that I get for myself are these... Um, I think they're pronounced Yasso. Let me know if I'm pronouncing them incorrectly. Um, they're these Yasso frozen Greek yogurt bars. They have a lot of different flavors. These ones are 100 calories, but they do have others that are, I believe, 90 calories, and they're strawberry. I've tried their strawberry, pistachio, and salted or sea salt caramel, and they're all really good. These ones, each one has 0.5 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of protein. So almost no fat, which me, my diet is specifically mostly based on low fat. So, um, so these are great for me. And once again, it helps me with the portion control because they come in just one bar. Before I used to get those diet ice creams, uh, which I, I really, really love, but I would want to eat the entire pint. So this is great because, like I said, they're already pre-portioned. I'll just have that one bar and that's it. So also always have these. I love cheese. So I have fat-free mozzarella cheese and fat-free cheddar cheese, just in case I need a quick sandwich or a quick quesadilla or a burrito, a wrap, anything. Or sometimes when I need a protein, I'll even add these to my daily salad that I have with dinner time. Another cheese that I always have available is feta cheese. I love feta cheese and I always, always add it to my salads as well. So I get the fat-free feta cheese as well. I also have turkey breast. So this is, I mean, it, it doesn't matter which brand you get. I chose this brand because it's the one that had the best macros out of all of the one that they had at HEB. So this is a castle wood reserve. And for example, this one has in two ounces, one gram of fat, one gram of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So this were, these were just the best macros that I found, and they're actually pretty good. These little bagged uh, rice crisps. So I actually get the big bag, if you can see down here. So I get the big bag that has four different flavors. I have caramel, cheddar, buttermilk ranch, and apple cinnamon. So it has total 14 bags in it. So once again, this helps me a lot with portion control. So I take one of these bags. I only take one to work or hate at home. They all have different macros depending on which flavor you get, but they're all about 100 to 150 calories approximately. I also always have quick oats. I know that I mentioned before that I get, um, that I have like quick ready to make oatmeal, the type of oatmeal that you just put in the microwave and it's done. I also always have this because I do like to have overnight oaks. Um, I don't keep them overnight. I'll just prepare them in the morning. But if there's a day that I know that I have a menu tasting at work or that I have a work event where there's a possibility that I'm going to eat or drink more than I normally would, I would have a lighter breakfast and I will, add, I will have some um, oats with Greek yogurt, almond milk, and then some berries. Just mix it all up with some cinnamon and that's what I'll have. So I'll always have some oats also available. Speaking of, this is the almond milk that I get. It's just regular HEB brand unsweetened almond milk. I do get the vanilla flavor because I just like a little bit of flavor. You know how I mentioned breakfast? These are the egg whites that I get. I get these smaller packets because I only have one uh, or what equals one egg white, which is three tablespoons a day. And then we're almost getting to the end. This is the dressing that I use. I've been obsessed with this dressing since I found it. It's uh, apple cider vinaigrette. And the reason why I love it so much, once again, it's just because the macros are amazing and it actually tastes really, really good. So two tablespoons of this has zero fat, four carbs and zero protein, but zero fat, which is like almost impossible to find on good dressings. And if it's zero fat, normally the carbs are outrageous. So this has been, the best one I've found so far. 
If you have any others that you absolutely love that the macros are amazing, please, please, please let me know down in the comments, okay? But so far, trust me, amazing. I love me some LaCroix. So I've never been, I've never been a soda drinker or a juice drinker or anything like that. Um, back at home in Mexico, we do drink a lot of flavored water. So maybe that's why I love these, like LaCroix or Waterloo so much. So I'll normally have one of these at lunch and at dinner. I just went to the dentist last week and apparently these are not the best for your teeth. So now they suggested that I only have one a day with a meal. So that's what I'm trying to do. But these are great if you uh, like to drink a lot of soda. This is a great alternative. So I always have, I try to have at least two different flavors in the house. So you know how I mentioned that I cook. So every Monday I will take about an hour and a half to two hours out of my day and I'll just cook for the entire week. So having chopped garlic makes that process so much easier. I like garlic a lot, so I add a lot of garlic to most of my recipes. So I always have this chopped garlic um, in the fridge also. I also, like I said, all of this is from H-E-B, so I get it at H-E-B and it just makes my life so much easier. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you. So if there's any other items that you normally get from the grocery store when you're trying to lose weight or trying to be healthy, please leave me your comments below. I would love to try new things. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye.